guys have been working hard here. What what we what have. does live in the bay? We found a lot of living things in the bay. Um, we found great. These are called tinafores. They're really hard to see. They're little comb jellies. They have bioluminescence, so they glow at night. Little. So if we saw these at night, it would look like little glow-in-the-dark things? Well, yeah, the water would appear to sparkle and glow and create its own light. They create their own light at nighttime as a form of protection. We also have some small fish in here called silverside minnows and mummy chogs. And this guy, little hermit crabs. Hermit crabs are a kind of animal that uh, borrow the shells from other animals. So this hermit crab happens to be in a mud snail shell. So we have lots of mud snails in the area too. Um, and this, of course, quahog mm -hmm. that we were finding earlier today, and the shell of a ribbed mussel. So ribbed mussels are pretty common in the area. And this critter is a uh, male fiddler crab. He can tell that it's a male because he has one really large claw. And uh, fiddler crabs like to, to bury themselves in the sand. Sometimes if you go to the marsh or, or around an estuary along the bay, they'll find holes lining the area and, and a, a midden full of little balls of, of sand. And they actually eat something called detritus, which is little bits of, of dead plant and animal material that is in between all the grains of sand. Tell us about that big claw. That, is, that sort of, is that what they call the grabber claw? Um, yeah, it's a claw that only the males have, and they use it in a kind of, of mating dance. Oh. The t two males might fight over a female mm -hmm. trying to dominate with one big claw. Can you also explain the, the nets going on behind us, what the, uh, the kids are doing? They have yeah. uh, different nets, what's, the, what the varying uh, types? The big net that they're using is called a seine net. So the kids are out there um, seining for fish, and all of the fish that we found here were used, where it's caught using the seine net. And these small nets are called dip nets. Those are also really convenient for finding crabs and fish and shrimp. We also have lots of crabs in the area, green crabs, blue crabs, spider crabs. But the seine net is especially good for finding the mummy chog and the silver sides and sticklebacks and so, killifish. So is there a preference? Do the kids like using one over the other? Um, sometimes you get in a bigger catch <laughs> with the seine net, find larger animals, more quantity. But um, if you're right along the edge of the marsh, along the, the peat and along the cord grasses and the marsh grasses, sometimes the smaller nets are good for scooping under there and getting lots of shrimp. Right. I'm, I'm going to ask Dominique. Sure. Uh, Dominique, you've got a little tiny net there. What are you trying to catch with that little net? Fishes. Just a little tiny fish? Yeah. Yep. What have you caught so far today? Uh, two. Two? You've caught two. <laughs> and now what, what, you'll, you'll release all those when you're done, Absolutely, right? Absolutely, yeah. of course. Yep. Yeah. Yep, this is where they live, right here in the bay. So they'll all go right back home as soon as we're done. Great. Thanks so much.